The National Human Rights Commission commenced a two-day conference on disability rights in the Gambia on Wednesday. The conference aimed to engage state actors and civil society organizations on the implementation of Persons with Disabilities Act 2021, including progress and challenges registered. The Gambia ratified the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities in 2015 and enacted the Persons with Disabilities Act in 2021 to domesticate the Convention in 2022. The government established the Advisory Council, marking a positive step towards fulfilling its obligation to ensure people with disabilities enjoy their rights. Despite these legal commitments, people with disabilities continue to face considerable challenges that hamper the full enjoyment of their fundamental human rights and freedoms. The conference is expected to raise awareness of the rights of persons with disabilities and promote the effective implementation and enforcement of the Persons with Disabilities Act 2021. Mr. Emmanuel Daniel Juf, Chairman of the National Human Rights Commission, urged the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Welfare to take a leading role in the implementation of the Disability Act. There are some very other important provisions regarding to access to information and communication, such as physical and sign language interpretation for the deaf and hard of hearing, and for the visual, visually impaired access to audio tapes, braille, light print, low vision facilities, computerized information, and programs as well. Although this progressive act has been passed into law, and while we recognize the fact that the government has established the Advisory Committee for Persons with Disabilities, the Act still does not have a commencement date, and as a result, its provisions have not been implemented since it received the presidential assent. We hope that the two-day forum will not only raise the awareness of the provisions of the Act, but that it will also assist in accelerating the implementation and enforcement of the, of the Persons with Disability Act 2021 by the state. And we urge the Ministry of Gender to spearhead the process by impressing on the government to have a commencement date for the Act so that the Act can come into force. Mr. Seku K. Sanya, Permanent Secretary, Minister of Gender, Children and Social Welfare, outlines the ministry's role in safeguarding the rights of people with disabilities. The Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Welfare is in close consultation, collaboration and relation with the Gambia Federation of the Disabled. This is the umbrella body for all forms of disability in the country. Equally, relations with non-governmental organizations NGOs, civil society organizations, and the newly established National Disability Advisory Committee have further been strengthened by the Ministry. This is to ensure promotion of the rights and protection of persons with disability in this country. Furthermore, the government of the Gambia, through the Ministry of Gender, remains committed to promote the rights, participation, empowerment, and inclusion of persons with disability in all sectors of development. And this is because there cannot be any meaningful development without including all. His Lordship Magistrate Mohamed Kurubali, chairperson of the Gambia Federation of the Disabled, says persons with disabilities have been neglected for far too long, despite their rights being guaranteed by both local and international laws. Persons with disabilities remain to be vulnerable in the society. Persons with disabilities for far too long are being denied of our coexistence. Persons with disabilities for far too long have been denied our rights to education. As right holders proclaiming for our fundamental rights, 
it must not be forgotten that we are being recognized by both national and international legislations. For example, Convention on the Rights of the Child in 1989, Salamanca Statement and Framework for All, 1994. And you also look at the World Program of Action, 1993, and you also look at other principles, like the standard rules on the equalization on the rights of persons with disabilities are all international pieces of legislation that really makes understanding for the rights of persons with disabilities and that these are fundamental human rights that we must understand, that we must respect and that we must implement. Meanwhile, Sarafin Wakana the United Nations resident coordinator says her institution is aware of the challenges faced by persons with disabilities in the Gambia. Despite this, we are aware that persons with disabilities continue to face stigma and discrimination and exclusion resulting in non-enjoyment of their rights with adverse effects on their overall well-being and potential. The UN is cognizant of the challenges faced by persons with disabilities. We recognize the government's effort and continue to provide relevant support, including raising awareness and recognition of disability as a human rights issue, as enshrined in the CRPD and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which we celebrate this year, the 75th anniversary. People with disabilities in the Gambia face ongoing discrimination in key sectors like health, education, and employment from both the government and private sectors. This exclusion undermines their personal development and national socio-economic development plans. Additionally, stigma and negative attitudes towards people with disabilities persist in the Gambia, making them feel unwanted, isolated, and unproductive. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Landin Sisa.